Christ, for the sake of his body, which is the church, of which I became a minister according to the stewardship for God, which was given to me for you to fulfill the word of God, the mystery which has been hidden from ages and from generations, but now is been revealed to the saints, and then God will to make known what are the riches of the glory of his ministry, which is Christ in you, the hope of glory. Him we preach, warning every man and teaching every man in all wisdom, that we may present every man perfect in Christ Jesus. To this end I also labor, striving according to his working, which works in me mightily. He chose to show me mercy. And that's what we've come out here to declare, that this same God may show you mercy as well. But you have to come to terms with how you stand before that God. Before you're his image bearer. And like me, you have fallen short of his glory. You can't earn it. There's nothing you can do to earn this for yourself. He has to do it for you. And if you'll come to him humbly, he will stay. And folks, that's the message I've come out here to clear. That's why I'm willing to stand out here in this this frozen air while you guys freeze in the line there and tell you this message. Because it's too important not to. How much would I have to hate you to withhold this news from you? That God will save you. I love them. I'm willing to stand out here and look a fool to them too. I'm here, aren't I? Why are you here? Huh? Why are you here? To declare the gospel. The gospel that will save you from an eternity of fire. Yes. Yes. No, I can't save you. I can't save you. I'm giving you the best of the world. No, I'm giving you the message that I'm hoping God will save you. I'm hoping you'll turn to him. Neither was I. I. Yeah, we're on what we're on the same level. I wasn't raised in religion. Okay. Maybe not. Not now.